Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're asking the question, what action are they going to take towards us? In other words, what action is he or she going to take towards us? Or what action is an institution going to take towards us? Perhaps your work or perhaps the government or perhaps the tax office or whatever it is that you are interested in knowing. What action are they going to take towards you? And so this is just not restricted to love. You can apply it to any area of your life. And um, so we have five Lenormand decks here and it's uh, one, two, three, four and five. So you can choose one of the decks um, or more than one of the decks uh, for each of your situations. And um, you may go down to the description box below where you will find the timestamp and you can go directly to uh, your reading. Um, at this point, you may pause the video if you'd like to um, take your time to decide. And I'm going to go right ahead and begin. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the deck number one, we're asking the question, what action are they going to take towards us? What action are they going to take towards us? Okay, so what action are they going to take towards you? Well, here I feel as if they are planning an action that would be for the long term. And they're planning to use a lot of force or strength to be able to ensure that. Um, it looks as if they are, are, they are more than friendly, as if they're loyal, as if they trust you, as if they want to... Um, enable you to trust them and uh, they want to show you in the long term that they uh, can be there uh, and be strong and they can be a protective force they can be there to um, to to simply be there for you so in this scenario um, I see that they are they have a long-term objective uh, in which they wish to show you their loyalty and their strength. They wish to show you that they can be a protective force um, for you, and but also that they have a, a somewhat possessive aspect. You know, they're very focused on you. Um, it's as if it's almost as if they want to to own you. Um, and this can be a negative or it can be positive um, in a sense that, you know, they may want to possess you, but uh, this does not mean that they will demonstrate any negative qualities uh, around that. Simply, they want to be protective. I don't see this as being negative. Uh, what I see is somebody who's planning um, way ahead, looking far far ahead in the long term to see if they can establish a friendship based on trust and loyalty and um, they they really want to show you that they are there for you and that they can actually be there to protect you and to um, safeguard you from other forces if this is a situation uh, which is health related and um, this has to do with your, with your, um, you asking about a, a doctor or a hospital or some kind of medical treatment. Uh, the way I see this is that um, you will actually, or the, the action that they will take towards you, like as in uh, the medical community or the hospital or something like this, I see that um, you can trust them and that they will fight for you. They will ensure that your well being. Is taken care of they will ensure that your health is a priority 
Um, they will ensure that um, you will be taken care of in the best way possible and they will continue to be there and be loyal to you and offer you support in the long term. Likewise, if this is a corporate affair and uh, you're asking what action they're going to take towards you, I feel that uh, they're looking at developing a long-term relationship with you in which um, they will uh, be quite clear about what they want from you as well as what they are willing to give to you. And they will demonstrate their loyalty and they will demonstrate their um their not their need for you but their uh, they will demonstrate their desire for you in the sense that they will offer you a package that um that will be favorable towards you and uh they will offer you they will make yeah they will make you feel comfortable in uh the, the given situation so an example might be that they they offer you the financial package that you're looking for or they offer you the office that you were looking for um they offer you a, a situation in which which it's it's difficult to say no because it's underscored by loyalty and friendship here. Yeah. Um, so that was the action that this person is going to take towards you. For those of you, uh, or the institution is going to take towards you, for those of you who have chosen the first deck here. And um, we are moving on to the next one. So for those of you who have chosen this deck, what action are they going to take towards you? What action are they going to take towards you? What action uh, are they going to take towards the querent who's chosen this deck? Okay, so I'm drawn to take the cards from within the deck here. So I'm just going to look at them and see what's coming forth for me. I think that's one. So for those of you who have chosen uh, the second deck here, so what action are they going to take towards you? Well here I see that uh, they're going to be hoping and dreaming. They're going to be hoping and dreaming for some time, uh, wishing on a dream. Uh, wishing on a star, so they say, and uh, hoping for something. And um, I feel that they will need to take a decision regarding this. They, they are, what action will they take towards you? Well, I see that they are wishing that they could take an action towards you. They're wishing that they could take make a decision with regard to you. They're wishing that they may can choose between you and someone else. Or they are wishing that they can choose between one option being you and another option, which is something else. So it could be that they've come to a crossroads where they either have to choose to be with you or they choose to have to perhaps move to a different location or move to a different company or move to uh, another place or, or be with somebody else. So they are wishing uh, that they can make a choice here. And I feel that this is actually just, uh, it's, very, it's very difficult for them because it causes them a lot of worry and um, it's kind of eating away at them. It's, it's gnawing away at them. They are feeling quite um, um, unsettled and uh, not at peace. They recognize that the situation is harmful to them and that it's doing them no good here and that it's it's really 
uh, keeping them in a state of worry. So I feel that they actually, as much as they want to take an action towards you, I feel that this person is not going to take any action towards you or this institution, whatever you're asking about, is not actually going to take an action towards you because they are wishing that they could take an action, but they're not actually taking that action. And then they are really worried about this. They're, they're constant. They're more, uh, they're in their mind. Yeah. So this, this person feels, or this institution, it feels very much that they're thinking of you. They're thinking of taking an action, but they wish they could do it. And instead of just doing it and resolving the issue or bursting the bubble or actually bringing closure to a particular situation, or if not closure, well, then just uh, removing the stagnation from the situation. Uh, they're not choosing to do that, but they're choosing to remain in a situation where uh, they stay in worry and in, um, in, a, in a situation which is not actually good for them. Um, where they may be having sleepless nights or they may be thinking about you all the time but not actually taking a decision. So I'm just going to ask for clarity about this decision here. Well, they actually... There we are. All right, so... Here I see that it's still very much... Here it's very much in the mind, yeah, and in the heart a little bit because they're feeling, it's what they feel for you. But here it's still, it's very much in feelings. This is a feeling that they have. They have this feeling that they should take action, that they should make a decision. But I feel that they aren't, yeah. They're stuck in the space where uh, they are in emotions and ideas and thinking, and they're not actually able to take an action. And I asked for a clarifier for this, and I've gotten feelings. So it feels as if, during the action that they're going to take towards you is think about you and think about the situation to the point at which um, there are more feelings developed or the situation becomes hazy after a while and it isn't clear anymore what it is that actually it exists between you. And so the, the, the situation is such that there isn't actually closure here but there, or there isn't an end point or there isn't um, some concrete action that's being taken there's simply feelings that's that are being developed um or feelings that are being yeah feelings that are developed being developed this doesn't mean that they are good feelings it could be also in some situations it could be that this person has the hope of taking action or maybe asking you out or um you know committing to you on some level and uh, not really committing but just basically asking you something or moving in your direction or not they wondering whether they should do that and this is causing them a lot of anxiety and worry uh and and you know as they they ponder upon whether they should take this action they become infatuated with you i wouldn't say this is love because this is simply feelings that are detached they detach from you they detach from the person and it's feelings that they have within themselves. In other scenarios, um, it could be that somebody is expect, uh, expecting to take a uh, an action towards you, but they're unable to do so because of some other reasons. Like if this is in a corporate situation or work situation or uh, some other kind of situation that you're asking about, this is somebody who's or some institution where they're hoping that they can take an action towards you. But um, due to other concerns, other things that are being eaten away, perhaps a budget that's eaten, eaten away, or perhaps uh, a situation where co-workers are squabbling with each other uh, or fighting over something, there is um, a feeling that there should be a decision that would need to be taken, but there isn't really something that is going to happen. So I feel like this is going to be the case for a little while longer uh, and it's not actually going to come into anything else but it's going to grow this feeling is going to grow stronger this feeling of um, you know the worry the, the anxiety uh, what they could have here but what they're unable to just take control of so this might be the situation in a little while longer I would say check up on this in a few weeks from now and see whether the situation is still the same because it might have changed after a few weeks or a few months. So um, that's 
the message for you, for those of you who've chosen um, this deck here, which is the second deck. And um, so we're moving on to the third deck, uh, which is this one. So for those of you who've chosen this one, this deck here, the third deck, the question we're asking is, what action are they going to take towards you? What action are they going to take towards you? So, what action are they going to take towards you? Yeah, for those of you who find my shuffling boring, because um, I really take my time to ensure that I'm getting the cards as I feel them, uh, please note that the timestamps are in the description box below, and usually the timestamps reflect exactly when the reading begins and do not include the shuffling or laying out process, unless, of course, the laying out process is integral to the reading or to the message of the reading. So I'm asking once again, what action are they going to take towards you? Okay, so this is a situation in which I feel that there's definitely going to be communication. Uh, the communication is very clear here. Uh, there's a riding forth of communication. So I feel like the rider is moving towards this letter. So they are probably on their way to writing your message or writing an email or sending you a letter or uh, formulating a contract, or devising a contract. Uh, it could be any of these things. It could be... A, yeah, any kind of contract or any kind of report. So there's an action being taken towards you. Quite, um, yeah, there's quite a focused action taking being taken towards you of communication. Okay, and this may be written communication. There's a good chance that this is written communication. And this is bringing you luck. So it's bringing you luck and it's bringing you a chance and an opportunity for something. And... Um, it might be an opportunity that involves uh, something material or something in which you may gain monetarily. Uh, but I feel that that this uh, action that they're taking towards you is with a great deal of passion and with a great deal of uh, adoration and love. And so they really want to take this action towards you. They're really eager to do so. And... Um, they, you might find or you might feel that this letter or this this, this text message or this um, email that you get from them, whatever it is that's this written communication, you might actually feel that it's a bit cold or that you might feel that it's a bit detached or you might be unsure of what it is that they're trying to say. But the one thing you should be you would be certain of is that they actually try to make amends here. Um, this is, yeah, and this, this combination is uh, making amends um, and healing something. So I feel that, and this offers you the opportunity to develop something further, to gain something. And it might, as I said, be monetary gains. So that was a very clear message here. And uh, that was uh, the message for you, for those of you who've chosen this one here there's not much else to that because it's pretty clear what the next step is or what action they'll be taking towards you so for those of you who've chosen the fourth deck uh, which was this deck here the question we're asking today is what action are they going to take towards you what action are they actually going to take towards you Okay, I feel like I need to put that here. 
So I know that that wasn't the first card that came out, but I'm guided to do that. Oops. So firstly, what I'm seeing here is that um, there's a very difficult situation which has been going on for a long time and uh, which is anchored, okay? And what action are they going to take towards you? Well, they're not really planning on changing this difficult situation here. This is something that is, yeah, they're not really planning they they're not really planning to on changing this difficult situation there this is something that they are committed to on a long term basis so it might be that you live at a distance from each other or uh that there's if if this is a love relationship that is that there is a distance between you and um you actually are unsure of you know what's going to happen between you two and this person is in this for the long term so they 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 are willing to stay in this long-term, long-distance relationship, okay? Which is a difficult path for you both. But they are con committed to the longevity of this relationship or this thing. It could be that somebody has contracted you to do some work, uh, which is going to be very challenging, but they are committed to your, uh, com to your being a part of this project or uh, overcoming this challenge together with you and that they're willing to see this to the end with you. So whoever this is, whatever this is, uh, they are willing to actually uh, stay with you to the end, even through the difficulty. The other thing I see here is that it will, for instance, if this is an illness that you have or a medical issue that you have and um, it's a really difficult path that you're fighting. They're willing, they're stuck with you in this. They are anchored in, with you in this, in overcoming this and in ensuring um, good health on your part. I'm, I'm advised or oh, guided to pull more cards here. Oops. So I'm going to take that one. Okay, so in this scenario, uh, what I'm seeing here is we are still asking the question, what action are they going to take towards you? So I feel that there's a lot of feeling and thought that has gone into the situation. If this is a work situation, it's as if um, you, the action that they're going to take towards you is keep you there for as long as possible, even in this challenging position, and give you more burdens to carry, give you more responsibilities and perhaps a higher status in your work, uh, but they're going to use a degree of manipulation, or they're going to use a sense of, uh, you know, basically being saying to you that, um, you know, uh, we really need you, we really like you, we really think your work is great, and uh, they're going to sort of bribe you, or not bribe you exactly, but. Um, bribe you with words, you know, not bribe you with anything else. And basically just try to uh, sweeten um, the, the deal and try to, you know, talk about how valuable you are. But in fact, they are placing you under a lot of pressure and making it quite difficult for you. But they And they committed to that, yeah. So as if they have a fondness for you, but they are still willing to take advantage of you. If this is a love relationship... What I see here is this, this has been a really difficult path of which, uh, in which feelings have grown for each other. And, uh, but there's a longevity to this. It's almost an eternity. It's almost like a kind of, like you are together forever, but on a spiritual level. Because I don't see that you're coming together here. What I feel, however, is that there's a togetherness that you'll always have but, and this person is committed to being with you in this way, but they are too burdened or they have too many responsibilities or 
They're not able to extract themselves from something with regard to their work or an institution that they are part of. Perhaps it's a marriage or perhaps it's simply a job that they're in and they aren't able to extract themselves from that situation to be able to um, give birth to anything else. But they're willing to stay in this difficult position with you to the end, um, knowing that you can't have more or you can't uh, gain more from this situation. And it's almost as if they are content to be this way and it's extremely frustrating for you uh, because you would like to see something happen here but it's not actually happening and you don't know how to go about uh, helping the situation progress or moving the situation along and so I feel that it's um, the situation is burdensome ultimately for you as well as for them but they seem to be okay with that and uh, they've thought long and hard about this, but they've also felt that they they feel very deeply here, you know, but uh, they've thought about the decision that they need to make with regards to you. And the only decision that they could make is to stick in this really difficult path for the long term and be anchored in this. So this could also apply to a couple who are together, who've decided to, against all odds, stay with each other. Um through whatever difficulties, this being the marriage, the institution, and stay with each other through all odds and um, bear the burdens together. So um, the, the, that is a few scenarios that I could come up with here. And um, yeah, I think that's your message. Well, that's the action that they're going to take towards you. They're going to stick with you through these difficulties for those of you who chosen that uh, deck here. So for those of you who chose uh, the last deck here, number five, the question we're asking today is, what action are they going to take towards you? Okay, so here what I see happening is that this person is actually going to be strong. They're going to take the action that's needed here. They're going to be the strong person. They're going to cut away something here. They're going to bring an end to something in order to bring light to something else. Yeah, so the action that they're taking towards you is brute force and strength. Uh, not aggression, but force. Uh, force that or, or certain kind of... Yeah, a certain force that allows them to take an action that it's not e that is not easy for them to take in order to end something, in order to bring something else to light. So, um, if this is a love situation, and if you're asking about what action is he or she going to take towards you, I feel that if they are in a relationship with somebody else, yeah, that they are going to actually break up with that other person in order to bring happiness to your relationship. If that if this is a situation where um, this person there's you know there's not another person in this relationship, it's just you and them, it's as if they're going to end a certain pattern or a certain way of being with you, or they're going to end a job maybe, or some kind of work that they have, or they're going to end some kind of um, they're gonna put an end to a certain location. Uh, they're going to, uh, what I mean by that is they're going to move from a certain place in order to uh, come closer to you. Uh, or they could perhaps um, simply be, uh, have some courage that they haven't had before to be able to, to put an end to some kind of difficulties that you might have together. Or in, in another scenario, it might be that they just put an end to being infatuated with you and actually ask you out eventually. Um, there, another way in which one can read this is that uh, if, if you're in a work scenario, that is, that um, there is a person who's perhaps ending a contract that you are part of, but offering you one that's bigger, or um, there's somebody who's taking an action that they don't really want to take, but they're going to do it anyway with a lot of force 
in order to end something so that you can have something better. So, um, yeah, I feel here that... Uh, I feel like I should bring more cards into this. So I'm just going to ask for that. What else does this career need to know here? Is this it? Yeah, they're cutting away something here. I mean, this is a card of ending something, and this is a card of cutting something away, and this is what I've been feeling. It's as if they're, they're cutting away something, or they may even be cutting away an ending, you know, in some scenarios where there might have been an ending between you two, or a breakup, or something like this, and they're going to have the strength to end that ending, uh, and things are going to be happy again, things are going to be bright again. Um, they're going to bring joy back into your life and into their life as well. So I feel this is a situation where they are willing to take make the effort. There's You don't have to do anything here. They are willing to take all the effort to make something happen. They're willing to fight for what is theirs. And they're willing to end something quite brutally, push something out of their life uh, or end something um, transform something into happiness they're not going to stop until they get this this is somebody who's really determined to reach this and uh, they're not going to actually stop at anything until they have this so this is actually there will be a positive outcome here and um, this may be a bit painful the situation here uh, but I'm not sure. It may impact you in different ways. You know, with different people, it would impact you differently. Uh, yeah, it it might. I feel that this happiness here is is what action they'll take towards you. They're moving towards that, and so I feel that they're cutting away something else. Uh, but but in sorry, in some situations, you might find that they cut away something with regard to you, in order to be able to have that. So in order to have this happiness with you, maybe they they say, well, enough of that. I'm not going to tolerate that anymore with you. I'm tired of you speaking to me in that way. And you won't be speaking to me in that way at all. And in that way, it transforms the relationship. It transforms something. And uh, you have some light again. So it might feel painful when they say that to you. If that's a scenario, that's just an example of what might happen. So they might, uh, yeah, they might, they might cut away something quite severely in order to make room for something new. So yeah, I think there's a myriad of ways in which this could apply for people. So let me let us know in the comment section. Please share your stories. You've been amazing at that, and uh, tell us how this actually plays out for you. So I thank you very much for coming by and um, watching the video. And I thank you all to my subscribers who are so loyal. And I thank you all for your comments and um, yeah, everything that you, all the support and all the gratitude and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.